everyone, SJAK Strategy Joe here with you, and today we'll be playing Automation, the car company tycoon game. So the game is in early access with Steam, so it's a little bit buggy right now. So we'll go and play a little bit of these scenarios. Let's start off with the tutorials. As you can see, I got a couple of platinum rating on those I've played. So let's go with Bargain Booster. I haven't played that one yet in this release. All right, Bargain Booster. You just got your driver's license as well as your first car, which was quite a bargain, but it lacks power, that's for sure. So why not spend all the money you save on a turbocharger? What a great idea. Don't destroy that engine and don't turn it into a gas gauzer either, you're that worn. All right. So requirement will be premium unleaded fuel, turbo is required, and the stats will be scored on is performance index more than 8, and it can be better, better than 400 grams per kilowatt. And we also need to keep our reliability higher than 40. Okay, so let's start off with the first requirement and get the... Uh, okay, we gotta go to... All of this. All right, so here all is locked because we cannot modify the engine. Here's the same story. Okay, here, let's lower the compression lock. And we don't change the cam. What a good idea. And let's go for turbo. Uh, what turbo? Let's go for journal bearings, single turbo, and let's put the uh, medium air to air or large. Yeah, here you can see uh, in this release there's live readings on what you're doing so if you put something that's not good they'll show you right away and that's fun you don't have to go test every time like in the the non steam release version okay so we'll preset it for performance and you can see the turbine has a little bit of trouble here so let's increase that until it gets a better color yeah that looks better now green great Max boost. Uh, we'll decrease a bit the boost. We we'll gives a better fuel economy. And let's move on to here. Oh wow, it's running a bit rich. So let's lower that. All right, so we need a better economy than 400. And I know if we lower the fuel mixture, it'll give us a slightly better fuel economy. Okay, here we go, we're silver, so let's make it better. Okay, so we're at our lowest point, and here we can see the score is 1415, and the gold rank will be at 1490. So let's try at least getting the gold rank. Oh, all right, so here, we'll go back in time and see, maybe we can increase a bit compression for more score. Okay, let's make it better. Maybe we'll be able, ah, no. Okay, so let's leave it a gold rating then. Let's back off, go back here, and let's start the inline four, not a church of your, that's great. Your father, former head of engine development at Clarkson's Motors, penned the finest I-4 engine of the late 70s. Alas, ah, yes. he is stuck in his ways. Declaring electronics blasphemous was ordinary. Yet outright refused to modify the engine with modern technologies, and as such, in recent years sales have dramatically tumbled. Following his recent and remarkably profitable retirement, you have been tasked by bringing Clarkson Motors into the 1990s by using the magic your father hated so much. Can you conjure a world class engine once more? Okay, so max will be 1800cc, uh, max capacity, and regular unleaded, and we'll need a better performance than 50, a reliability better than 45, economy, emission, and a total cost that will be low. So let's start building that, okay. So we'll need to reduce a bit the displa displacement here to get under 1800. That would be perfect. We're just under the, the requirement. Maybe we can bump up here. Yeah, perfect. 
one more nah let's leave it there okay so let's go for overhead for valve aluminium head very valve lent and let's go for a cast iron crank and let's get I see we, we need some emission and economy ratings so here we can get some special pistons will which would grant us for example this one gives us a good fuel efficiency and emission reduction that's great so let's get that one let's keep that here and oh, we have some technologies bonus here so let's use that to increase the qualities if you don't increase the quality it will give you a little discount in price but I don't care I want better quality all right so let's always lower compression so we don't just blow up the engine right off the start and lower a bit the cam profile here you can see it gives a good definition higher cam profile gives a better eye and can performance and slightly lower AKI. A lower cam profiles give a better low end performance and better economy. So since we have VVL, we're able to set up a, a low profile and a high profile. So we'll keep the low profile 20 and bump up to 80 the high profile and we add the variable valve timing too. And let's put a little style there and some colors. Red will be perfect. And we got more tech here, great. Exactly what we needed. So let's keep that naturally aspired. Injection, multi-point, uh, standard, standard. We don't need much more than that. Regular, unleaded. Give it a bit more fuel, increase the RPM limits. And let's increase the tech to five. And we'll put a short gas adder uh, two inch pipe and since we need emission less than 150 we'll put a three-way catalytic, catalytic converter and I don't see any mention for the mufflers no sound requirements we'll just put nothing it'll be loud and we like loud engines so let's start that okay let's see what we get here so we do very bad on emissions and it's not very reliable so let's lower a bit the rpm limit see yeah okay so lowering by one grand the rpm limits grant us a better emission i'm sorry better reliability but hmm, I'm not sure for the emission if maybe lowering the fuel mixture will increase it i guess it does i mean reduce the emission where okay so let's increase that hmm, what cool reduce emission I don't see anything okay here emission very high all right maybe here Yep, yeah, doesn't do much. So let's decrease compression. Okay, so we succeed to make it silver. Let's make it a bit better. I'm sure we can. Okay, so we lose score there. Get a little bit of scores reducing that. If we increase, lose score. Hmm. Okay, here we can increase the score. But we got to be careful with the emissions so maybe by reducing the engine size it will give us yeah you see it increase the score so let's reduce the bore until the scores doesn't want to go up anymore but still keeping enough performance hmm got to balance it so the performance still stays above 50 and uh, we keep the emission under 150. So let's see, what else can we do here? Yeah, I don't see. Oh, this one grants us better score. Let's go for that. And that loses us some score. And here, do we get. No, that's decrease the score. Hmm. Ah, if 
finally we we got gold by going for very high emission reduction okay so we'll leave it at gold and we'll go for no more tanks it is six years after the world went World War II ended, Germany is recovering and being rebuilt, and so was your factory, which first got forced to be retooled in order to produce weapons and then got severely damaged during the war. This has driven you to the brink of bankruptcy, but in a loosened moment you have an intriguing idea to build a car that anyone can buy, called the Pepe. While the engineers are busy build, designing a body, you are thinking of a robust, powerful, fast to build and cheap engine that can be used in the Pepe. Alright, so let's make a, a nice little i4 for the Pepe. And let's see requirement, regular leaded, manufacturer time less than 30 hours. And we need some performance, reliability, a low cost and open bit your economy I guess. Alright, so let's make that uh, 1. 1.5. That, that will be good. And let's go for... I can really use that 1951 dual overhead cam. That's weird. I don't think... I think that's a bug. But let's go for it. It's there. Is it... It's not even that expensive. Well... Okay, so crank... Cast gun rods, cast pistons, and let's move on to compression. Let's reduce compression, reduce a bit the cam profile. Next, natural spire, a carburetor, two barrels with the standard intake, regular leaded. Let's increase the fuel a bit and the ignition, and we'll leave the RPM at 5800 for now. Let's get some. Hmm. Short cast, I guess we don't need much better than that. And 1.25 inches for the exhaust is good. And we have no mention of noise, so let's make that a straight pipe. All right, so we got a uh, silver rating right away, that's good. So we'll try to see what we can improve, maybe reduce a bit the RPM limit. Yeah, it will increase greatly the reliability. Can we decrease the fuel mixture? Ah, that's great. Maybe we can get it to not just 1526. Maybe by playing around here, we'll be able to to get to ah. Yeah, I think we'll be able to get to 1630 just by increasing a bit the fuel. To 14 let's say and increasing candy compression mm. 1599 5059 not 99 and can we get something okay, let's increase here the rpm yeah it's going up that's good yeah it's going down that's bad Oh, that's increasing. Yeah, so uh, to get a platinum uh, rating, you could have played around like that with the setting until you get the right spot that gives you the platinum rating. So let's reduce a bit here. Let's reduce again the fuel. So we're very close now. Let's try and increase here. Will it make it? No, it won't. And if you reduce that, will it increase? Nope. Seems like we're in perfect limit for RPM. So we're just nine points off the platinum rating. So let's fill a bit round, see what we can get that will increase greatly. Hmm. 62, 29, 20. Yeah, it, it's, it's a bit touchy one. Yeah, no, nothing seems to do it, right? Ah, just a little too large for the next house. Now we have platinum. So let's go on to the next scenario. Irish race buggy. It is 
the year 1992 and your small Ireland based engine producing company has long been looking for an opportunity to expand its business towards Port Erie engines. Fate plays into your hands. As you are contacted and contracted by a small racing team who need a new engine design for use in a new cross country racing league, this could become great publicity or a huge failure. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so hopefully, it will be not a failure. Okay, so 1500cc max, super unleaded, natural aspired, and performance over 100. That is that will give us 50% so we need a very high performing engine so let's go for that okay so let's get that right under 1500 come on come on come on yeah 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 that's great and let's go for double overhead cam aluminum variable valve land and cast iron forge high rpm High RPM, great. And let's increase, decrease here a bit of cam profile, increase for evolve. And let's add a timing all cam, natural aspire, injection, multi point, crowd per standard, performance. And what do we get? Super unleaded. That's great. Let's fuel up that, increase that, and let's go for. 8800 rpm that will be a sweet little engine let's put some long tubulars increase diameter of the exhaust that we need no catalytic converter and we need a lot less less than 80 so maybe by pulling some straight through we'll be able to pull that off okay so we got a bronze rating that's not bad so now we gotta find ways to increase uh, the power here and we got some fall flood going on anyway I think it would be better to increase the valve profile to remove the valve floods and that seems to be doing good yeah and let's increase a bit the compression okay so we're at silver rating okay it went too high on there Let's increase the fuel now to the maximum point we can before we're getting overfueled. And let's go back increasing the compression once more until gold rating hopefully. That didn't work that way. Hmm. Okay, so I guess we'll reduce a bit the RPM limit will grant us a better play here. And what what can what can we do? Hmm. Maybe on the exhaust we can fiddle around with the size. Does that increase? Yeah, it's increasing. No, that's too small now. And is that better? Yeah, so the race tubulars give a much better rating. 1255. Okay, so just one muffler. Hmm. What else can we do? It's so already getting some knock now. Maybe if we increase that, increase the fueling. Hmm. We're getting a bit, uh, it's running rich. So let's remove the rich condition. And lower ignition, maybe? Nah won't do no good a bottom part is near its rpm limit that's the piston hmm we still are we are pretty far from the goal rating now so let's try a race intake oh yeah that, that gives us a nice little boost so what else can we do here really what happened no can't remove that or can we yeah I think if we adjust the cam profile here yeah much better now can we increase that yeah we can so 
So that will be a pure racing engine. Oh, now we're starting to get some knock. Okay, so we're getting closer now. Lovely. Ah, goal rating. Make it better. Alright, so if we increase that. That doesn't increase anymore. Hmm, okay, I'll leave, I think I'll leave it to gold right now. And let's go for 4x4 four four drives you. Moscow, 1950. The government owned automotive plant has received a requisition from the army to design a new light off roader which require a simple, torquey, and practically bulletproof engine to power it. Can you give them what they want or is your next assignment going to be in Siberia? Okay, so I don't like coal, so let's give them what they want. So let's make a... Oh, hmm. 3000 RPM limit, that's scary. So since it will, it will be a low rev in the engine, we'll, we'll make it large. And we'll use push rod, we don't care. We'll be cheaper that way. Cast iron, heavy duty cast, heavy cast piston. That's all good here. And let's reduce compression and reduce the cam profile to get better low end performance. Natural aspired, a carburetor, two barrels, standard intake, regular leaded. Uh, give it some fuel and limits to 3000. And the ignition timing will be better economy. Yeah, let's go for that. And we'll need some short gas. Nothing do we need? Yeah, we need to reduce the loudness. Let's put some reverse slow. All right, so we got <laughs> cold rating right away. That's great. Okay, let's see if we can adjust the torque here by increasing compression. I think it's a good way up, up until we get that going on. But let's put more fuel in then. Okay, so now we're running rich. So let's pull back a little bit and let's go back into the compression here. Let's increase that until it starts knocking. And let's increase cam profile maybe. Will that be worth it? Yeah. 3098. 1398. So we'll need only oh, 52 more. What what do they care about? The weight, the torque. Oh, we can increase torque easily right here. Oh way too much so let's increase the stroke again let's just increase stroke until we get to 1450 hopefully ah it's too heavy now all right but we're much 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 closer to our goal now so uh, maybe increase reliability yeah, okay we really need a 3000 RPM limit. Can we increase that? Is it worth it? Nah, we lose score there. Ah, uh, oh, nothing going on. Will that make it? Will that make it? No, that won't make it. Ah, that made it. All right, so we got another platinum rating here. So that will be it for today, folks. Hopefully, you have enjoyed that video. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share. And also, you can hit up my Facebook and Twitter pages to make sure not miss a single new video. Thank you for watching.